running is killing your gains. You've probably heard that everywhere. So how do we avoid it? Well, there's one big mistake that I made in the past, which was holding me back from gaining muscle and running at the same time. So what was it? Well, I was actually running in a way which didn't allow for much recovery. So I never got faster and I never got stronger. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps I took to finally reverse this problem. So let's start from the top. Here, I was stuck in a bit of a rut. I was doing a push-pull leg split alongside trying to get a sub 20 minute 5K. So here's how my week would look. I'd do push-pull legs through the week, then I'd sprinkle in a max effort 5K run every Monday, Thursday, and Sunday, because more effort surely equals more results. Definitely not. I was way off. This was just far too much volume. The 5Ks would completely ruin me into a dizzy mess. And as a result, my weight sessions really took a hit. It was around this point, I actually started to lose muscle. My training was inefficient and was burning me out. So I needed to switch it up. What did I do? I realized I had to sacrifice some lifting volume if I really wanted to get this sub 25K. And there's a special rule I followed, which enabled me to balance these two disciplines. It's called the 100% rule. Between any disciplines we train, we can only have a total of 100% in terms of volume. Currently, my training split looked like this. Here, you can see it exceeded the highest amount of volume that I could effectively recover from. And this is why I began to lose size. My new approach opted for a 50-50 split. I essentially halved my previous volume. So the new plan took a different form. I did an upper lower split through the weekdays and ran on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. This allowed for much more recovery. And doing this, my energy levels instantly came back. I was refreshed and for the first time in months, I even started to progress in the gym. There was one problem, however. Running still felt the exact same. At this point, I thought I had it all covered. The new reduced volume was guaranteed to help me get under sub 20 minutes while putting on size, but I was still wrong. Even a couple weeks later, my progress in the gym completely halted once again. So after some thought, I decided to look into it. With no background in running, I knew I was taking a stab in the dark, but how far off could I be? Turns out I was way off the mark. What was really causing me to lose size was the intensity of my runs. In my new and improved plan, I was still running 5Ks at maximum intensity three times a week. And there was no way I was promoting recovery. And this was the problem that I'd been looking to solve all along. Running actually requires us to run slow in order to get fast. This is called improving your aerobic base. And I actually made a video on how this whole process works, but we'll talk about that later. With all this in mind, I made one final adjustment to the plan. I added in slow, longer duration runs, which would take place of my Thursday and Saturday 5K sprints, you could almost call them. From what I found out, I was told that you must run at a pace you could hold a conversation at. And sticking to this proved to be pretty difficult. When I first tried it, it just felt ridiculous. I just felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. A few weeks passed and I stayed consistent to the easy runs. And this is where things started to fall into place. My strength came back, and what was even better, I was shaving minutes off my 5k time. Honestly, I'd never felt better in my life. From being in the gym and neglecting cardio for so long, the added benefits of being fit and strong were just completely next level. So going back to that video I mentioned earlier, in order to cut back on my 5k time, I used a special training method. And if you want the full rundown on how that works, just click this video here. 